What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to professionally deprecate Python functions. So let us get right into it. All right, so the basic idea behind deprecating functions is quite simple. Oftentimes when you work on a package, you might want to remove certain functionality, certain functions, and you might want to replace them with new functions. And the problem is that users have maybe already built applications relying on specific functions of your package. So if you just update to a new version and you remove functionality without telling the user ahead of time, without warning them versions before, you're basically breaking their code if they update your package. So the best practice way to do that is to already deprecate the functions versions before you actually remove them and warn the user that this function is deprecated, they should no longer be using it because at some point, you will remove it from the package. Right now you can still use it, your code still works, but we are going to remove that function in a future version. That's the proper way to do it. So as a very simple example here, let's say I have a package and this package has the function, uh, let's say calculate and this calculate function takes number one, number two as a parameter and an operator. And for whatever reason, I made the stupid decision to implement it like this to say eval and to use an F string and say number one operator number two, which is of course not a very secure way to do it. But let's say this was how the package works and I can do stuff like calculate 10, 20, and then a plus, and then I get my 30 as a result here. Now, let's say people have built applications and code bases around this function, and now I wanna remove it from my package. How do I do that? Now, there are multiple ways to do that. You can just uh, implement your own decorator and your own warning in Python 3.13, which is a new version, it's going to even um, there's going to be a specific decorator for deprecated. But in earlier version, like the 3.10 version that I'm using right now, you will have to use an external package unless you want to implement your own decorator. So what we're going to do is we're going to install using pip the package deprecated. And this package then allows us to use a decorator. So we can say from deprecated import deprecated. And then what I can do is I can just add a decorator deprecated and this already is enough, I can run the code. And you can see call to a deprecated function or static method calculate, uh, telling me it's deprecated, but I can also add more information. So let's say, for example, what I want to do is I want to replace this one function with new functions. So I want to implement functions like at where I have number one, number two, and then I have um, a return number one plus number two. And then I do the same thing with multiplication and subtraction and so on. So I can do sub and then I can do minus here and so on. Let's say I have all these different functions that I want to support. And I want to remove this function in a future version. What I can do now is I can say here reason equals and I can provide a reason for why I remove this function. So I can say calculate will be removed in future versions. Use add sub etc. instead. Now, this is not the most professional uh, message here, but this is a reason that will be displayed with the deprecation warning, then I can also add a version here. Now, if you have a package with a certain version number, I also made a video recently about choosing proper uh, version numbers, how semantic versioning ver uh, works. But basically, let's say the current package that I'm working on has the version uh, 1.4.3. And this is the version now I want to deprecate this function on. So what I do is I provide 1.4.3. And even if the version is then 1.8.3, if this functionality, if this function is still here, not removed entirely, um, because maybe I only want to remove it with the next major version. So 2.00 is the first version where I actually want to remove that function. Um, if that's the case, I can just um, I, I can still see that uh, this is the version where this function was first deprecated. So I can run this. And you can see I get a deprecation warning call to deprecated function calculate will be removed in future versions use add sub etc instead deprecated since 1.4.3. So that's the basic idea when you want to remove a function, you don't remove it right away, you deprecate it and you remove it with a future version. Now you can also choose a minor version. The rule of semantic versioning is that you don't break compatibility with minor versions. So 
in the major version, definitely you can remove whatever you would like because it's going to be an incom uh, incompatible upgrade. But that's the basic idea. You deprecate it, you warn ahead of time that this functionality will no longer be uh, present in future versions, and then you remove them in a future version. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.